Welcome to Powerful or Pointless. In this video we take a look at the iPad app, Air Display. Now Air Display is an app that costs £6.99 so it's quite expensive, but it turns your uh, iPad into an extra monitor for your laptop or your computer, which is very useful. So I'll just demo it here. You basically follow the instructions that it goes through and it's pretty easy to set up. You need to download some extra software onto your Mac or PC for it to work, uh, and I've already done that. So now it's actually connected already and I've already set it up so I'll just open a window and then move it over to the iPad so you can see what it's like. Now I'll tell you now it's actually you know not as fast as it would be if the it was a real extra monitor just plugged in because right now this is using the Wi-Fi connection so to have these connected you have to be on the same Wi-Fi connection or you know directly connect to the iPad through Wi-Fi. So it's not as fast as it would be if there was an actual monitor plugged into your laptop. But as you can see here, it's fast enough. So, you know, some uses, you could have a website on one monitor and, you know, you could be writing something on another. So it's actually very useful. Now I'll show you here when using Chrome uh, and I've got it on the iPad monitor, I struggle to scroll on some websites. So you can see here Mashable is quite a heavy website and it won't let me scroll down. I don't know if it might scroll down in a few minutes and it's just lagging or it just won't do it. But when I open up Safari and have it on the iPad screen, it works a bit better for some reason. So you can see here I've got Safari on the iPad screen now, and once it loads, which it's taking its time for some reason, but that's my internet's fault. Uh, once it loads, you can see that it will probably be able to scroll and work a bit faster than it did on Chrome while on the iPad screen. So I just see that in action. Once it fully loads... Right, you can see it can scroll and it works fine, so that's not a problem there. And it is a bit laggier than it would be, you know, on the direct monitor, but definitely does the job pretty well. So another cool thing I want to show you is, if you're actually running a, a keynote presentation, you can actually click through the slides using the iPad. So as soon as you press play, the iPad screen turns into this sort of remote and you can actually click through the slides using the iPad. So that would be really useful if you're actually creating a presentation and you're presenting. You could use the iPad as a remote and you can actually see the slides so you can go back and forth between them. So that would be very useful in some, in some cases. Now you can actually use the keyboard and the touch screen or you can turn the touch screen off while you're doing this air display thing. Uh, I don't really see any need to have the keyboard on the, uh, on the iPad screen while you, you're going to have a keyboard anyway on your, you know, on your main computer or laptop. So there's no point really using touch on the iPad. Uh, but it's an option anyway in case you need to for some reason. So that's pretty much Air Display in action and for me it's been very useful. I've actually used it quite a lot so I'm definitely going to give this the powerful vote.